Safety Anthony Harris knows the work he puts into his final spring practice period will have an impact when the Cavaliers take the field in August. Yeah, that was a good banjo. I was impressed by that. You're growing. Spring ball has been going really well. You know, I feel like this spring the team has really gelled together. You know, been very good motivators for one another. You know, pushing each other daily in practice to get better um, in the weight room and in the winter uh, leading into spring. So I think this spring ball has been very productive as in gelling everybody, you know, um, getting better as far, as far as their assignment and knowledge of the game and, and just becoming a student after the other game. Harris is now playing under new safeties coach Mike Archer, who returns to UVA after multiple stints in both the college and NFL ranks. You got to make sure now that you stay inside. Yes, sir. Right? Because if you get outside, he catches and hits that scene. We don't have anybody there. Yes, sir. Right, let's go. Give me you know, Coach Archer, I feel like he's him and Tanuta feel like the same person a little bit. So, you know, um, they've coached together for a while and they, they are on the same page as far as knowing the system. So, for to have Coach Archer back there coaching us up, it's kind of like having Coach Tanuta right there along your side. So, he's very detailed in what he wants. He has a lot of experience on, you know, the NFL level. So, he brings that aspect to the game, whereas he's learning to uh, expand guys' uh, vision and, and mindset as far as how to think about certain concepts and, and tendencies and different stuff like that. Archer has a relatively simple philosophy he's brought to the team to help improve the Cavalier defense. Well, I think the biggest thing is to try and you know win each day. Um, you know, I, I understand the situation we're in. We've got to win football games. Um, you win games by what you do in spring ball and over the summer preparation, uh, understanding the fundamentals of football. There's some things that we've got to get better at and then continue in training camp and then start the season against a very, very good football team in UCLA. But it can be done. And I think that's, you know, I think the biggest thing that we've got to instill here is confidence, a, a swagger, an edge that uh, we can overcome adversity and, and, and be a lot better. We feel like if, you know, if you're not getting better, then you know, you, you kind of relapse a little bit and falling behind. So each day we go out there with the mindset that we want to get better at something, you know, whether it's like this much better or you know, just a little bit. So if we can continue to do that and get better each day, then we know going into the season we'll be at least that much better than we were at the start of spring ball. That's on. That's on. That's on. That's on. That's on. You gotta take my stand. The staff knows they need to adapt to the changes in college football, and they're doing that with defensive versatility. College football has changed. Everything is now spread. It's no huddle. It's fast break basketball. You have to have athletes on the perimeter. You have to be able to tackle. You have to be able to match up against four and five wides. So the more athletes that you have and the more explosive that they are, uh, then the better opportunity you're going to have to be successful on defense and win football games. And that's where, as I look at the recruiting board, you know, we've signed a, a large number of safeties, corners, linebackers, uh, athletes. You need guys that are athletic that can run as opposed to the big physical 260-pound linebackers. He's week one right here. BYU, they treat me good. We ain't done yet. I retire about the spring ball. As spring football culminates with Saturday's Orange-Blue game, Harris is already looking forward to the August 30th season opener when Virginia hosts UCLA. Well, after a season, you know, it's kind of a long wait until the season comes back up. You know, you have spring ball, uh, summer workouts, and then leading up into camp and stuff like that. But for the get guys out here and running schemes and practicing with the pads and stuff like that, it makes you a little bit anxious. And then once spring ball starts to wind down, you want to go against unfamiliar faces and different color helmets and stuff like that. So I think basketball did a good job of finishing out their season and set a high standard. And I feel like all the Virginia athletic programs are doing a really good job right now. So we're just excited to get our opportunity to come back up and go out there and, you know, show people the Virginia football that we know.